Um, so pre COVID, post COVID, now PP was devastated. So I'll I'll let you run with that. What happened when COVID hit, and what's going on with PP? I mean, it's coming back to life, but I'll just kind of let you run with that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think you know, like it like it happened everywhere. Um, but it was like it was just a, a shock to our system because PP was rammed it was just coming out of high season like it was like february march time um and you know as soon as it started happening like we didn't really think it was uh it was real um we kind of live in like this beautiful bubble on pp where like none of the nothing much on the outside world like really touches us because we're like we're pp you know like we can we can we always survive like there's always going to be tourists coming here even like i said like even when we don't have to do a lot of things like tourists will always come to pp right and so for the first time we were like shit <laughs> um, where, where is everyone where is everyone no and uh the um, the local governing bodies uh decided um just out of uh, around april i think it was to shut the whole island completely and um asked tourists to leave and obviously there was a, a, a group of people like a group of westerners um like diving instructors business owners and stuff who are westerners that were living on pp as well um so they they couldn't you know really go anywhere um so they stayed but uh, but everybody else had to leave um and like go back to their countries and you know like it was that whole like mayhem um at the start where they didn't really know what to do with the people that was there they were just trying to like reduce the problem and then uh they went on and shut the whole island off so there was no boats coming onto pp at, at all ferries or speed boats. Fer ferries or speed boats oh, um, and what about cargo too uh well instead of three cargo boats a week it was reduced to one um and only a handful of people could like work on the cargo boat and you know like it was that thing that set in like when covid started happening which is like the the fear um and they uh tried to like manage the problem by by shutting off the island. Where were you at the time? I was I was on the island and at the time. And did you kind of stay the entire time? Yeah, yeah, I stayed the entire lockdown. Um the, the first one anyways. Um there there, there was a few after that. That's like really April 2020. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the first one I was there for the whole thing. Um you know, trying to manage all the hotel customers leaving and yeah, we went from 80% occupancy to two. <laughs> Two, two, two people. <laughs> to two people. And you were one of them. <laughs> to two. Um, to actually literally two rooms. Like we had two rooms. Um, and it was, you know, like uh, people that decided to, you know what, I'm going to ride it out um, and stayed in the resort. Like, thank you to them. Mm -hmm. um, thanks. <laughs> do, you, do you know their names? <laughs> yeah, his name's David Boltz. <laughs> okay, and does he have business there? Was he a long term stay? No, or? no, he was just a tourist. Oh, and okay. he he ended up staying with us for, um, for two two three months, um, trying to ride it out. Mm. Yeah, and um, but everybody else had to leave, and so, a lot of the business owners on the island, um, you know, like small shops, small restaurants, and whatnot, um, like I said, like a lot of people that are living on PP aren't from there, and you know, when the fear sets in, they decided to go home. So PP became um, a ghost island. And I mean, I say that because uh, the, um, how, how like the street lights work on PP is they're lit, it's lit by, by businesses, not because of there, there's public like lights. Um, and so when the, all these shops closed, it was just pitch black at night. Um, and yeah, it was, it was completely empty. Mm. And, but what kind of made it all right or um if we're talking about the business sense first of all it was devastating like we had to um you know like let go of our staff we had to figure out whether or not we were going to shut the hotel we uh decided not to like again like this came from came from like my parents like the the, f the flight or fight thing that we've always had it was just like no like we we, we gotta keep going um and shutting off the hotel like a, a lot of the hotels did close um would i think it would would have been worse for us because you know we, we have we have such a big property and um the maintaining everything like takes takes work you know and we didn't want it to like um just completely like deteriorate yeah essentially.